All right, let's look at the interior of the Hyundai Elantra. As soon as we open the door, you're gonna see it's, it's kind of sober appearance. There's nothing, you know, punching out to the eyes. That's why I think the exterior design is a little bit more revealing when you come to the inside. It's not bad, but it's more sober. It's only black, you don't have wood finish, you don't have uh, a silver, you don't have chrome, you have that dark gray right now, silver lining that you can see appear a little bit everywhere inside the car. Um, when I check the door, kind of hard, and look at that, as soon as I just rub my finger, you're gonna see that it will get messy over time, and be careful if you, if you have some rings, and even for your elbow, if you like to drive, you know, with your with your elbow right here on the side, you will get hurt because this is so hard. And you can see that there's a little bit of soft material here, even there, and back to hard plastic when it comes to that side. You've got all your seating memory that you can choose. And, oh, oh no, 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 don't move. Thank you, please let my position like it was. <laughs> so as you can see, it's pretty quick to react. You've got also infinity speaker ear and ear which is a uh, okay sound system. And this is pretty much standard as you will see in every other vehicle. Uh, storage space, you won't put a big drink there, that's for sure, probably only a bottle of water. And by the way, when you want to open your trunk, you just pull there. Uh, and you, when you want to open your fuel uh, gas tank, well, it's just like the old days. Let's take place inside. I'm gonna readjust my seating. And the seats are comfortable. When you look at them, uh, you can see that you have some soft material here for the address. You've got a good number support and you can adjust it. And it's, it's a leather that is, it's, it's not a slippery, so it, it's giving you a firm grip so you won't go uh, moving on that seat from one side to another if you clean it also. So the interior, as I was saying, it's kind of sober, so you've got some kind of soft materials, that, that dark gray going all the way up here to the side. Same thing here and super interior, not too bad. It's giving you a wide opening on uh, the, um, on the uh, every information that you need right there on the side. So um, let's turn it on. Nice blue little button. If I do a close up, as you can see, I love the lighting that you have. And yes, there's a song when you start the car and when you leave the car. So let's turn it on. And as you can see, uh, there's blue color everywhere. I like the color of Hyundai when they're using that blue. Let's turn that down a little bit so you can hear what I'm saying. And as you can see right now, I think there's a GPS function enabled. So we might as well turn it off map and uh, oh there you go i can cancel it right there so so i just changed the menu for you guys in english and as you can see when you change the language the system is simply rebooting uh let's start with what's here on the left uh you've got the brightness uh level so if you raise the illumination or lower it you're gonna see that it's even better with your lights turn on and you can go for nearly dark and you're gonna hear a chime as soon as you get to the max and you're gonna see that it's gonna be more brightful everywhere inside the car. So let's put that to maximum. You've got also your uh, blind spot uh, monitoring system. As you, can, as you can see, you can turn it on and off and you got a pretty bright display of what's happening and it's gonna show you exactly what's gonna happen. And you're gonna have also this light but also a sound indicator. You can also turn on or off traction control and if you hold it uh, for a, a long time it will also turn off stability so you will be able to do nearly everything with the car during winter if you get stuck uh, with that uh, feature turned off so big dial uh, nice information screen it's uh, four four inches right there in the middle uh, 4.2 inches to be more precise and it's going to give you all the information that you need when you're going to be tampering with those buttons so let's start with this one so you've got your voice command and if you press Please there say a command. you will you will be able to say a command depending of uh, what is shown here right now i'm going to choose exit thank you and you can also change the mode and it's going to be the mode of your radio so you're going to see right there in the corner going from ipod to my music to fm uh, to Sirius, uh, Sirius XM, 
so you will be able to change whatever you want. You can press here in the middle to mute and you can simply raise or lower the volume so this is pretty simple and you can go through your different memory that you have with those buttons right here. If you press uh, the, 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 the call button here it's going to switch directly to uh, the possibility to compose uh, a number while you're going to be uh, riding with your car and if you hang up well it's not going to change the display but you will hang up the call if you engage in one. So this button right here will change the information that you see right there uh, in, in the center of the screen. So let's start with the first one. So we've got the range and if I press down there like this, it's going to change the menu. So range 530, the average uh, fuel consumption, trip A information, trip B and my speed. The switching menu, you've got your GPS and if you uh, choose a place to go somewhere, let's say that I choose my navigation menu, I choose a restaurant, searching, searching and I choose this one and I said set as destination as you can see this is quite fast and it's going to show exactly where I want to go and this display will also change depending on the road that you need to take I've got my indication of uh, the radio that I'm listening in right now my media I've got my service interval that I can see I've got also different options different settings that I can go in depending on uh, what I choose driving assist I can also uh, turn on or off my rear cross traffic alert and please let that turn on because it's one of the nicest feature. I have the reaction of my door, auto lock, auto unlock, my smart trunk as I get near. Also uh, lights, one touch turn signal, headlamp delay, welcome lights. Uh, whoop, there you go, I'm gonna let that turn on. Uh, sound, if I want to have my welcome sound as I was saying to you. Uh, let's go back. Convenience and convenience is seat easy access, steering position, wipe, wiper light uh, display. Uh, service interval, I can enable that and choose whatever I want between the months and the kilometers. Right now, I'm not going to save it. Uh, thank you. I've got also some other feature with fuel economy uh, that I that I can uh, simply uh, reinitialize after ignition or after refueling and also my units and my temperature that I can choose between Fahrenheit and Celsius. Let's go back. I can also reset the setting and there you go for the complete menu. So it's kind of, once again, not too flashy. It's what, what the information that you need is all there. A cool feature that I like is when I change, uh, let's say the lights, if I turn the light right now, you can see my light position. So if I'm in auto mode, it will simply turn on or off my light in my beautiful projector halogen lights. Uh, it's the same thing for the wiper also. If I, let's say, turn on the wipers, uh, you're going to see exactly where what the position is. And also in ENT mode, uh, if I move down or up, you're going to see exactly how, uh, what's the position. And I think that's a neat feature. Cruise control, uh, if I turn it on or off, you're going to see that display and you will also see the speed that you set it in uh, right there in the middle. So quite complete. Let's move to the screen that we have right here on the center. So this is uh, the, the multimedia information that we have from Hyundai. It's an 8 inch screen and we have an 8 speaker um, infinity sound system. Uh, it's not bad for the sound system, but it's not the best that I've uh, that I've listened for a long time. So right now my guidance system uh, is set and by the way that was the display I wanted to show you that you're gonna have when the GPS is enabled. So right now we're gonna cancel root, yes, and all the buttons are uh, made to be horizontal so you've got your volume. So who's in for some U2? So you've got also FM or AM uh, when I press on those, you're going to see that it's not going to go into the serious, um, the serious uh, tab right here. Uh, if you press on this button, it's only going to change between the two. And if you want to change, uh, let's say the tune, you can go with the button right there on the side. So it's quite quick and easy, but you, you can also use the feature like that with uh, your finger. Also, please note one thing. Uh, oh, I think it, it went into a scan mode. Let's uh, turn on the lights that you're going to see. And uh, there's a problem. You can see th the light reflection. So the screen is going to be sensible depending on, uh, on the sun also. If you have too much sun on the screen, you're going to see an impact. It's going to diminish visibility. 
media, as soon as I get in that feature, I can choose iPod, audio, my music, and you're gonna see it's gonna give me uh, a nice uh, view of my song right now. So we've got uh, Apple Car possibility and Android Auto, but guess what? When I go into the setup feature, I can only find the connectivity for uh, Android Auto right now. And when you want to switch it on, you need to unplug uh, your USB uh, system that you have. And I'm gonna turn on the feature and sorry for me, but I don't have Android Auto. So uh, when I go into all menu, I can have uh, mo uh, much more information, even have the serious XM data, let's say that I want traffic. And you can see right now the construction uh, construction that I have on my route. I can also see stocks. I can add that sports, and it's quite complete. So uh, I probably do a video about a little bit later about how complete it is for that system. So seek and track. Uh, if I press up and down, it's going to change my song, but it will also change uh, the uh, the channel that I'm in. Uh, I was I was saying map and navigation. It's not a flashy system but I like the way it reacts. I love the way it goes fast, but it doesn't have uh, some kind of iPad feature. <laughs> and right now I don't know where, why it's going so far, but I can see that it's kind of moving, uh, moving in the other way that I'm choosing to go. Um, if I go into the navigation menu, let's say that I go to my address book. So as you can see, I can add some favorite place. Uh, I can also have a full display of the song that I'm listening in by pressing the FM radio or the SXM button. If I go into SXM, a cool thing is the rec button right there on the side. It's recording my sixth first position uh, to the song uh, that uh, all the songs that we're playing. And if I want to move back to, let's say, a song that I like four minutes ago. <laughs> Hey, welcome to the 1990s. <laughs> so it's going to be possible. I can also select a scan direct tune or a different category that I want to go in. So the setup is there. You've got also a tons of uh, options that you can configure your setup. I think that system is neat. It's responding fast. It's not too complicated and it's kind of user friendly. So not a bad a note on this one. Uh, Climatization, once again, easy. Uh, you can have cannot have more uh, easy than that. So you've got your auto button that you can select the temperature that you want depending on the, the, the temperature that you choose. Uh, you can adjust the speed, turn it off, turn it on, the different position that you want. And once again, easy. Also syncing possibility, dual zone climate control, uh, depending on your passenger and what she or he wants as a temperature. If you go down there, so you've got two 12 volt an uh, outlet, one auxiliary, one USB, and you've got also the possibility to close that section. But if you put some things on there, be careful because you will see that plastic will scratch pretty easily. Uh, you've got uh, an automatic six-speed transmission on this one. If I move to park, reverse, neutral, I've got also a manual mode feature with a plus and minus that I can do. You will see the gear change right here in the screen, and you will see also a big uh, gauge appear uh, a big display appear uh, when I'm going to shift to reverse or uh, or um, or another gear. Uh, so when I move into reverse, you're going to see the display here change and show the rear sensor where I might hit something. And I've got also a nice camera, which is not too big, not too small, not too much detail, but gives me a good view of what's happening behind my car. So let's put it into park. So I've got heated seat who are standard in the car. Uh, we got also a heated steering wheel and a drive mode. The drive mode is going to change between eco, sports, and normal. And it's going to change the reactivity of the car, uh, but it's not going to get much more impressive with performance. Cup holders with a nice little line of uh, gray here. Uh, nice, good old handbrakes. I've got also enough box here of a good size. Lights, ooh, that's bad. A large in lights. I don't like those. I've got the possibility to open. Uh, my uh, sunroof and you've got also a good metallic protection you've got also sun visors and with an individual light so you need to open the lights uh, with the sun visor uh, when you press on that button right here and uh, even if you forget it when you're going to close the sun visor it's going to close for itself little mirror not too bad places for sunglasses home link system 
Uh, you've got also the possibility to see where you are going right now and the mirror will be dimming depending on what's uh, behind you. So not too bad for the hand side. Let's go in the rear. Oh, I forgot the seat down. Sorry guys. Nearly spoiled the punch here. Whoa. Boom. So as you can see, there's not too bad space. It's kind of cool. So they give a little bit more to the rear place. And the thing that I ate is that plastic once again, hard plastic. If, it, if the space is as tight, you will hurt your knees. Same thing for ear. If you have children in the rear, this will get scratched at the speed of light. So you've got a net here on the side. Um, you've got also places of storage right here in the door. And one nice feature are the heated seats in the rear that you can simply turn on and off. And you still get that hard plastic over here. If I get that down, you're going to see cup holders and there's no storage space, no USB connector and on the lodging light in the rear. So it's kind of usual business of typical car what we see around here. So if you're wondering what is that, this is a vent, so you know, when you close your trunk, so it's going to send the air inside and it's going to not going to cause disagreement. If there's passenger inside, it's going to be much more easier also to close the trunk without having some air trying to create oppression. I love those lights. So in the trunk, you've got the possibility to lower your seat by pulling those, but no seats have moved there. So it's giving you a nice uh, opening. The trunk is a little bit smaller compared to the last model that we have uh, with the Elantra. And you've got access to a full spare tire. Not too bad interior. Oh, let's lower the seat. I want to show you that. Let's start with this one and this one. Oh, this didn't went all the way down, so be careful. And as you can see, it's going to rub on the plastic. So a little gap over here. It's giving us a nice opening, not too bad, but you've got a gap, that's for sure. So let's close the trunk. As you can see, it closed easily. And if I want to open the hood, I can do that by pulling that here. But before, hey, I forgot something. Let's give a few rev to that, to that small two liters. As you can see right now, my, my hood indicator also. Well, hmm. not too much excitement when you hear the sound. You don't even hear uh, the sound of the engine inside the cabin. So let's open that hood, little button over here. And uh, as you can see, it's all well covered up. Look at that. There's a nice inter interior uh, engine bay finish that they did, even better than some Japanese car out there. So we got also a battery. Look at the finish, all plastic covered. Uh, even the battery is surrounded by, uh, by some material. Oh, look at that. That's a first. I've never seen that publicity. Hyundai right now recommends you Quaker State's oil because Quaker State oil are the official Hyundai oil. <laughs> so you've got a nice finish with a top plate of the engine. Engine oil right there that you can check and owner's manual. You've got also the alternator which is quite accessible and seems to be easy maintenance all around when you look at that. But the thing I need to show you is when you want to uh, use uh, that bar and plug it in your hood, and as you can see, you've got a different shape than usual. And I will need to make a pose to show you that because it's hard with, uh, with one hand. So look at that. So if you put uh, your bar right there, if you push the hood, usually it went out and you could pull it out, but you won't be able to do it. You need to push uh, the hood in a middle position and you will need to move your bar on the side to simply remove it and close it. So it's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit more harder for somebody who's not used to uh, get, uh, get that little hook in the hood. So, do you like the interior of our Elantra? We didn't find it too bad. And you, feel free to comment.